Welcome back again, Rum Lovers. Jamie here of Ready Set Rum, and we have our favorite co host once again, Russian, aka Rumshan. <laughs> Follow him on Instagram. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. We on a Rum Review Marathon today. This is button number three and four of our review series. This is yes. just one day knocking them all out. Alright, so I've never gone to the Monkey Distillery. I've never reviewed a Monkey Rum. Now, the reason for that is Monkey, when I just started doing reviews, I like eight statements, right? I bought an eight year, I bought a 10 year, a 12 year, whatever I bought, I like being able to see exactly what it is on the bottle, right? That's just how yes. I started off because uh, from Trinidad, you have 1919 used to be an eight year, right? Now they went over that. There used to be a 12 year, not a winter with that. Now, the fact that I got in before that, I just, you know, but not that they went away from the eight statements, I don't know how I feel anymore, right? But, you know, Jamaica, you go to Appleton, you know, the signature, never an eight statement, the reserve, never an eight statement, and then they now switch and put an eight year instead of just having reserve, one was the reserve eight. Um, and then also they had um, the 12, the 15. The 21 you know yeah. i just prefer when a rum has an eight statement like i went to the dolly's 12 when i went to barbados the first barbados rum i did was the 12. it was the exo but i was like it didn't have an eight statement you had to research you know you can look online it tells you straight up what the blend is or whatever but i just like when there's an eight statement i feel like i get in my money's worth i get in a 12 year old's worth worth a rum and i think that's information should be available to the public if you're spending your hard Easily. money, it should have been on the it label. Be. Why not? Why so much secrecy? All right. So that was one of the reasons I why I just never got into Barbados rum like that. They did have a Moby flavored Barbados rum. I, I don't know. Most people outside the Caribbean wouldn't know what Moby is. You people in Jamaica don't know what Moby is. I hear the name. It's some kind of fruit, right? No, Moby is Same a thing. bark. So Moby, there's a tree and there's a bark, and they, they scrape the bark off the tree, almost like a cinnamon, right? And you brew a tea, almost like you steep it, you boil it, and you make a tea type of thing. But it's juicy. You add sugar to it, and you drink it like hibiscus. We go sorrel. Moby is pretty much similar, but instead of a fruit, it's the bark of the tree. And you make a juice that you drink, right? So I say I'm probably have some in my house. You might have it, but not from. It's not me though. But from your wife, wife. Yeah. exactly. So I a lot of people in the Caribbean box. have it. It's very popular in Barbados. It's very popular in Trinidad and Tobago. And Mongi had a Moby rum, right? I haven't reviewed it, but I tasted it. Tastes great. Um, I think that bottle might be a finished. I don't want to get the next one. It is what it is. All right. But finally, I I have this Mongi here for years. I had this sample from another friend. I even have the older label of this um, down in my in my stores. So you know, finally I was like, yo, you know what? I am going to review this rum. Yeah. All right. We we already did. We did. What we did today. We did Guyana. We did Jamaica. We did the Jamaican. We're gonna do now Barbados, right? We need to add some more Barbados reviews to the repertoire. Yes. So expand. Expand. So we have the XO. Right, and then we have the EXO Triple Cast. Triple now, cast. The EXO was under the previous master blender, Alan Smith. Alan Smith, yeah. Right, and now we have the Trudy and Baker. Okay. So give me a breakdown of what information you found okay, on the so, two Okay, so this is the um, the, the blend Smith. under yeah. Alan Smith, right. which was, a, before it was a 8 to 15 year old uh, blend, mm -hmm. right? Now they changed that, um, Trudy and Baker, she came in, and now she made it a five to seventeen year old blend. Right. She said that uh, she wanted to, to, to a, be able to work with younger rums and older rums to, to put them all together. You know. So, we have no and cognac. Oh, thank you, thank you for you, that. The most yeah, important. This is part. A, yes, most important because it's eight body bark on him. It's a triple cast. Right. A triple cast. This is a uh, two cast, which is American whiskey. And bourbon, which is still American whiskey, you know, but it still differentiates. Right. Okay, and this is a triple cast: American whiskey, bourbon, and cognac. All right. So, so that's the most important aspect. The most important aspect is that Definitely. the cognac is now introduced yes. to this rum, along with right. the the expanding of the the younger and older right. rum. So you know, one thing you know, 
it's just a bit different with Mongay. Like the they just don't have an AC or anything. Even they so back then when I just really got into rum, what was the the name of the oldest of the most expensive rum? The um the eighteen whatever the number that they have seventeen or three seventeen or three. So they have the they have seventeen or three right? right? The seventeen or three. So back then, previous to this bottle, the different label they had it was like a hundred dollar bottle, right? No, it's a two hundred and something dollar bottle. Telling you, right? So this, <laughs> this, <laughs> I, 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 I could, like, you could get a hundred dollar bottle like a year ago or so, or two years ago. Yeah, you gotta find a hundred dollar bottle. No, I think, but when the new bottles were coming out in like total wine, they were always like two. I think it was like two twenty, two hundred to two thirty or so. Yes, was the newer bottles back in like 2018, 2019. Yeah, 20. Yeah, it was about around that time when she yeah. came in. Yeah, right. 2019. But no, it's like 270. Yeah, right. And then they even have the pot stills, and the pot stills are almost cheaper because the pot stills are like 230. Yeah. So the pot stills that they have, they got the pot stills with different cars. They have the the pot cars, the Andrea cars, and the Madeira cars? Yeah, they have a, that's the new one, I believe. The Madeira cars. Right. Because they had the pot still, the car strength. Yeah, they had the car strength, the pot still, uh, the, the, uh, the, the Adian, Adian or the, the Andia. Andia, uh, or whatever it's pronounced. Yeah, I'm not sure. And now they have Madeira. The Madeira cars. And they're all about 230 for those. Yeah, yes, yes. Right. I mean, you can find them cheaper some places, but but that's typical, um, yeah. the range. So, you know, we. I don't. Are we. How many Mount Gay rums have you drunk? Like, I felt like I drank a few, but I haven't bought a lot. Uh, like, I don't know why, but I typically have gone for a lot of Foursquare. And I always wonder why Foursquare just came on the scene and all of a sudden, you know, it, it just came up and I've bought way more Foursquare than I've bought um, Mount Gay rums. Monge. Like I have bought many dollies, thirty dollars a bottle, right? And in fact, a lot of times you get for like twenty six dollars. Very good price. Spe- yeah, twelve year, twenty six dollars. No, it's about thirty dollars. Inflation, right? I bought several of those. I've bought in now to the the exceptional cars, right? I've bought Premise two thousand and five. Uh huh. Um, you know, it's always something that I always look at because they always bring out new releases every year. So, you know, I've bought several of the Foursquare product. Um, we even, you've, we even found um, St. Nicholas Abbey. Uh, someone had a resale on some St. Nicholas Abbey. And, you know, he, um, Russian wanted it, so we picked up the two. You know, Russian got those two. So, I feel like you and I both have spent a lot more money on other... Foursquare. On other... Jam- another Barbados rums. Yes, we we have. I mean, my start to Barbados rum was the Eclipse back in right. uh, twenty. I remember I bought my first Eclipse. So one thing, remember, the two on the inside, the triple on the outside. Definitely. Right. Yeah. So I bought my first Barbadian rum, mm-hmm. uh, the Monge Eclipse, mm-hmm. the one point seven five bottle. Ooh. Yeah, I went big. I think <laughs> I got it for like thirty dollars at the time. Mm-hmm. And I really got to remember, you didn't stand out because I never right. bought a bottle until a few years later I bought the Black Barrel. Right. And the 1.75 Eclipse, I just drank it with Pepsi. Right. That's all that was. Just yeah. a mixer. Yeah. Typical mixer. And that's my only, um, I mean, I've bought um, others um, since in yeah. the last few years, but I've never really uh, tasted them. So you bought several, but you never tasted them. Like, what do you use them for? <laughs> The, the interest is is not really there. I would say, hopefully, my opinion changes right. today. You know. Okay. Based off of you, as you were explaining, you know the the eight statements and the range of the how they blend. So and there's a lot of um, information that. So I I tasted a product from a from a, a private label guy. He sent some samples, and he said the Barbados was non disclosed right but based on the cast numbers and stuff he concluded that it was a monkey rum or a monkey pot still i never mm-hmm. tried any of the pot stills that they have right 
that they sell in their fancy bag, you know, casings and stuff, premium luxury rooms. Yeah, and then try to have for two hundred or something. <laughs> I've never tried any of them, right? So, you know, I tried this pot still that he said that was from Mongi, and I enjoyed it. So, you know, it makes me like, alright, I can enjoy a monkey rum, a pot still rum, but, you know, yeah. it's still yeah. like, you know, like, you, you kind of have to warm up to a company to want to spend 200 or something dollars. Yes. And even, even, it, even these, mm. the price point don't help them. I mean, you well, know. Well, when I bought this, right, when I bought this original one, was $40. Yeah. Right, this new one, which comes in a similar bottle like this, is $65. Yeah, $65. Right, so it, there, there has been a, a steep increase for uh, again a non eight statement rum of five to seventeen. Yes. But we're gonna taste it now, and we're gonna see. Well, hey, you know, it really worth the five to seventeen, right? Yeah, maybe you have to take back everything we said and say, you know what? Yeah. So you know, we <laughs> tell you exactly how we felt about rum before we drank it, right? Yes. Because honestly, I had this bottle here for some time. Like I've drank, I've finished tons of bottles throughout the year. Right, and I sure I own this bottle at least a full year or two years now, right? And it hasn't gone anywhere, really. right? So, and you have a grander back there for two days now, and yeah, it's, I just pop a grander the other night and a pour, or something. a pour, <laughs> you know, like this. This is two years, and this probably I, I just poured out some, right? But like this for two years probably went down as much as the grander went down that I just opened up a couple yeah. of days ago, yes. you know. So. All this is that you know, honestly, you know, off the bat, we just never really got into exo rums. I to to, to monkey rums. I never have. He never has. He has a great following online, you know. And honestly, we've been rambling on for like twelve minutes, but let's get into it. Let's get into the tasting notes. I don't know why Russian and I feel so strongly about it. <laughs> Swirl it around. I'm looking for the legs. Ooh. How does it smell? I haven't put it to my nose yet, but oh yeah, yeah. You say woo. Yeah, it's like as like a wafer. Mm. So, the beads on the top are tight. So, typically, a lot of Barbados rums are a mix of pot and column stills. Yeah. Did they, they, I don't think they stated. Did they state anywhere in research, like, you know, what stills were used for this rum? No, not the stills, but definitely a blend of pot and column. Mm. Yeah, like, that's typical in Barbados rums. Four square does it pot and column stills. I'm always like, why do you guys say pot when I can barely taste any pot still rums in your thing? Like I feel like all oh, Barbados rums. So, like I like, I like, I, I, I'm straight up. Like I like four square rums, but I always feel like it's like you know you just yeah. you, you hit me a salt <laughs> bay on the pot still. You know you just do a little finger roll like this. You know the pot yeah. still just a roll in there. I feel like that's what it is. All right, so the legs are pretty thick, well defined legs. Can't complain about the legs on this one, right? Like. Look at that. There is some really good, thick, slow-moving legs. So as much as this is 5 to 15 year blend, the legs are great, right? And the color is a dark mahogany. So definitely a nice, rich, deep color. So all good points going forward so far. Maybe Rashawn and I just don't know what good rum is. And we will tell you today, if you have been mistaken for all these years, and it's only when our palate is fully developed, that we can appreciate what Mongi yeah. has to offer. All right, so let's go on the nose. Woody, woody, tannic. I get a blast of fruits. You get a blast of fruit. I got some fruits, but I got more. That before, that's I said when I know who. Yeah. It's like when I went here, it's like like a candy fruit. Mm. Okay, so I mean, got candy fruit. I got a little bit of fruits under there, but I really got more woody tannins on the top. I'm getting the wood. Mm. I'm getting some is that caramel. Some caramel, some orange. Some heat though. Man. I'm getting some heat, but I'm really getting some um maybe like caramel, vanilla and some orange on the on the top there. Which lead to my, my question. Mm. Which I probably should ask you. Mm -hmm. Would you so by smelling it, would you say that would you know that it's a, a Barbadian rum? No. No? No. I think Barbados Barbados rums don't really stand out to me. Like I might like the taste of it, but a typical 
four square like dollies or monkey or whatever like their rum to me tastes like quintessentially what a rum is like there's i don't know like to me like it's weird like to me barbados i think rum right but not a a particular type of rum not like a pot or a jamaican rum like it's just like barbados rum is just rum so like to me like barbados rum is like you think about latin rums like like venezuela colombia like these latin rums that really to me sometimes don't have a definite identity like barbados rum is like the best of what that is you know it just tastes like what molasses rum is but then when you go to other places you get like more flavor because to me like as i said like it really reminds me of like the best of what some latin rums are like if you don't add sugar to a lot of latin rums yeah. or any funkiness or weirdness you do to a latin rum it reminds me of a monkey or something you know like zacapa has like that whiskey taste and the sugar added right right Definitely. but uh, sometimes but like if you have like a like don papa has a, a, a kind of specific taste not it but like i don't know like when you think about i don't know i just feel like sometimes some of the Latin rooms are so not defined in a specific flavor profile that to me kind of it reminds me of 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 Mongi. you know it's 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 odd but like i don't know it, it, it's just, to me uh, Mongi just reminds me of rum i think Mongi has rum good rum rum like okay you know so when you smelled it what did you smell smell yeah no but not just smell but like did you like did you find that yo this is a barbados rum uh i would not a hundred percent i was getting a, a, a i mean a, not much of it but if, if what's a like, barbados you rum? know what because if i you, because i tell you what my thing is about barbados i think rum it is. was at first i like if i didn't know that mm. it was a monkey rum i would think like it's a caribbean blend a blend of of different countries mm. uh, 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 maybe a four square with um you know, could Trinidad be a, yeah it could be a, a you know something like that that's what i would say i don't know like barbados but but, but then again not having much experience yeah we don't have much experience but except me, for the four squares I for mean, four square but yeah. like four square itself too it doesn't i don't think four square really like stands out like it's not a unique taste i don't know it just tastes like rum it's weird it's a, it's a weird thing to say and the four square 2009 i love the four square 2009 taste wise and taste of four square 2009. oh my god really sweet really well wrong with full of flavor full fruity, of fruity a lot of things right all the fruits but like Raisins. i just think about like the 2005 which wasn't my favorite it was kind of dry and so like to me like it could have been a monkey rum. That four square could have been a monkey rum with higher proof. Like I don't know. Like Barbados rums just say rum. So if you tell me, I give you a Caribbean rum, I could possibly know it's a Barbados rum because I know what Barbados tastes like. But in my mind, I don't know what is the unique characteristic. Like just the other day, I went to someone's house and they had Angostura 1919, and I've had it on the shelf for a long time. For whatever reason, I don't even know if I ever really reviewed it. I kind of did a side by side one time. But I haven't drank a lot of it recently. Yeah. And I was like, yo, this tastes like Angostura 90. <laughs> like, it even occurred to me, yo, this thing has such a unique taste. You know? Like, so all rums, most rums, have a unique taste that you could spot. Like, yo, this is right. from that company or that region. And this, if you tell me it's in the Caribbean, I think I would know it's Barbados rum. But still, the flavor profile to me is like quintessentially what a rum is, is what Barbados rum tastes like. Like, I just think like this is rum, and everyone else is like a well, a, they, a, a, well, they, spring of rum. well, they did invent it. No, rum. but it's kind of weird because like I've tried other rums before, but it just seems as if like the base note of everyone else's rum I've tasted is what Barbados rum is the base note. Right? It's like everyone's adding like papaya and plantains to the rums, yeah. and Barbados <laughs> just creates rums. You know? Yeah. Like that's what I'm getting. Like I just feel like 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 it is quintessential 
what rum is. And I always thought maybe it's because they just use a pot, they just use a column still, molasses, column still, wood barrel, like that's it. You know, I think like, like I always thought that maybe that's the process why I just think that's what Barbados rum is, and that's what most other Latin countries is. You know, maybe that that, that was my impression. You know, but that's what I get from from Barbados. Anyhow, let's get to the tasting. We've been rambling a lot today. It's a long videos of ramblings. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into this. All right, so let's taste this thing. Sweet. Fruity. Sweet. Yeah, very hot. Fruity. Mm -hmm. Very like, like granulated sugar sweet. Like very, I'm surprised. I'm surprised because I'm, I'm honestly like, this is quintessential Barbados rum. I'm surprised at how much sweetness I got on the palate. Reminded me of a Dolly's or even a 2009, but a low. Tell you food. something. In my mind, from the smelling it, uh -huh. 2009 just ringing through my mind. Let me not say it. So you hear it. how much? So you are so straight up. You hear how much supposed hate we kind of threw at at Mongi the opener this thing, and of the bat, it reminds us of the best, one of the best rums from Foursquare. Yes, the 2019 me was one of the best rums from Foursquare. This reminds me of it off the bat. No sugar added, right? Mongi doesn't add sugar into anything, right? Which is why they always you know kind of throwing jabs at the other guys, right? <laughs> You know, you know the only one other guy we talking about. <laughs> you know, we like those guys, but so. Well, yeah. But two thousand nine. Imagine two thousand nine. I am living in the same place. I've been thinking. So it. imagine that. Now this thing we probably should have been drunken a lot faster than this. Uh, I tasted it. Yeah. So maybe, maybe we you know. just have bad mind. <laughs> you know, we just we just we don't like the fact that they don't put their age statement on this rum. But off the bat. One of our favorite four square rooms is 2009. Remind us of that. And this is be $40. No, you can't get it anymore. No. Not for $40. I just have found a liquor store that had for $40. And those guys jacked it up. So. Yeah. yeah. You, you bought it, right? I didn't buy any recently. No, you never buy it for 40 But when you. Yeah, went... I bought it. Yeah. I okay. bought the, the old bottle in there is for 40 I have oh. the older bottle. Right. You went in there, you bought it for 40 yes. And I went a week late and bought it for 60 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I had bought it years ago for 40 but I okay. saw it recently. It's in my video, Perfect Wine and Liquor Stores right. Rum Review. Saw it in there for $40. Week later, jacked up to 60 to 60 Right? Crazy, guys. Crazy, guys. Right? So maybe I should have drank this rum before and buy some more bottles because it's at 40 bucks. This thing tastes great. So we were here just, and for some reason, we did not appreciate this because I've had this for over a year now. Why don't we appreciate this? Because they don't have an age statement? The price point was um, the price point was one two. Cause every time I look up on a monge mm. bottle, you see uh, even the black barrel. Mm. I think the black barrel is running close to sixty dollars too. That's crazy. So, so no, but, but that's recent. But like, yeah, but that's for the past. Um, no, like, but even last year it was that. Yeah. So one to sixty five dollars probably like 2020. 2020? From yeah, I think it's from twenty twenty. Uh, they, they they jacked up the price. Yeah. From twenty twenty, it's been about sixty five dollars. Um, but I've known of Mongi for years. You've known Mongi for years, and even in all your talking and stuff, you haven't really bought a lot of Mongi. So no. exactly <laughs> right. So it, it, it is a perception thing. Yeah, but it's not. Yes, I agree. I think it is a perception. I think just the fact that they don't give you an aid statement, and then you have to look up online, and then you find a blend of. But this is five to fifteen, right? They, yes, they. Eat. Yes, the aid statement, the lack of information, uncertain things, you know, and then, and now it's even worse. It's like the price gap. So you have the Eclipse, which is like twenty dollars for the bottle, right. and then the next closest one is the Black Baron, which is like running out close to I sixty. I swear it's like forty, man, or forty-five or something like that. I think it's like for forty-five. Look it up. Look it up. Let, let's just give them the answer now. All right. So I'm pretty sure the last time I saw the Black Barrel. I used to get I'm the, the, um, the total, total wine, wine, wine price. price, right? So I bought the Black Barrel a while ago for like thirty bucks. They used to have Black Barrel at a liquor store close to my old where I used to live before, down in Miami. This liquor store had everything on the best price ever. It just opened up, and they used to have Angus Row 1990 with thirty five dollars Black Barrel for thirty, and e and the XO for thirty five, right? Fifty seven. 
57 dollars for the black barrel yeah and that's total wine which is which gives you a typical um and then they have the eclipse for 30 and they have the xo for 59. what's the xo 59 and the black barrel four dollars cheaper is 55 57. like what exactly is the is the is the the what's the blend on that the blend on that is even is like i think it's uh i have it here uh you see all right so one Russian and i had bad biases against the the Mongi exo right we are honest we give you honest reviews right so a lot of people like the the Mongi. i just never was a fan never picked it up never like not that i never picked it up. i have a couple of bottles but i never really like got into it but yeah off the bat first tasting it tastes like the so the black barrel mm-hmm. it's two years old to seven year old blend I mean the old version the new version now is mm-hmm. three year old mm-hmm. to seven year old blend with more pot and that's and that's the, <laughs> and that's what 57 repeat that repeat that the old black barrel blend <laughs> yeah it was two to seven years old but i could i get for like 30 35 dollars yes that was the price um, two to seven i actually bought a black barrel um two weeks ago right and i paid i paid 30 dollars exactly black yes. bar used to be 30 to 35 dollars yes. and that was the two to seven year old blend yeah now the new blend is three year old to seven year old with more pot for 57 dollars yes yes for 57 dollars and total wine sometimes give you the cheapest price so in say a mom and pop store you might get it a little bit higher you might get a 60. yeah so you see honestly like that that's what doesn't add up to us right that's right. really just what doesn't add up to us honestly they had good prices before like it was something that we definitely should have got on because <laughs> the funny thing is so i agree that things kind of mature and get better once you open it um you sit it let it sit open that would be like things sit open when you open a barrel a bottle sometimes a lot of times it gets sweeter and gets smoother out over time so i probably drank it when i popped it it was like mm, don't like it put it back in there never tried it again probably the last year or two right i am pretty sure this was a gift from moya one of my other reviewers one of my other co-hosts sorry she actually used to work for monkey back in the day um so she definitely has you know she likes the rum, but she used to work for them me i wasn't a worker right so i'm telling you exactly how i feel didn't like it before the bottle's been open for over a year now and it reminds me of 2009 at a low approval of 43 if you still don't like percent. it i mean you could you could give it to me I, I no don't, don't worry about it don't worry about it I don't, <laughs> i'll I, bring you home i like me today, actually, I, I already told you i like it i like it a lot all right so i'm gonna get into more into this i want to try the, the new triple cast i love this man the, the, i love this man the nose Why? I, I love the nose actually no i am upset with myself well honestly at 40 dollars it tastes really good but then think about it you're comparing I was comparing this to like a dollies right right and a dollies is still 26 dollars right so if you go which is 12 years 12 years the thinnest 12 lightest years. 12 years that sports we have to offer right could i miss what it is it's like you know the the not the best 12 year that they could offer you right right at a lower proof right 12 years for 30 dollars this was not 12 years was a blend from five, five to fifteen. Five to seventeen. No, it's five to fifteen. The other one is oh yes, no, seven, seven, seven to fifteen. Seven to fifteen. And the one is five to seventeen. Yes, correct, correct. So this correct. one was, you know, so it's just like you just didn't get the bang for your buck feeling because like people don't understand. Like for me, an eight statement means something, right? Like I feel more to put out my money if you give me an eight. If you tell me a rum is seventeen years old, and you tell me it's a hundred dollars, like well. 17 years old yeah, right yeah, now honestly that is a a bias because one of the best rums i've ever ever had is the hamden great house which is a blend of three to seven which used to be and now the new one is four to eight right. 2020 is three to seven and i paid a hundred dollars for that right right because it's amazing this rum here honestly at four dollars it was worth it i was gonna say tell you that too yeah definitely at $40, oh, that thing is so sweet. 
I let my bias uh, for eight statements ruin my opportunity to buy a lot of this from. Still $40. I don't know. At that point in time, I think $40 was a little high for me when I just started. Not really high. Like, I would have buy $40 rums. But I was always looking for new things and whatever. Right? But definitely, I think this is a good rum. Yes, for what the price point was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, $40. Definitely. Okay. Alright, now we're going to get to the other one. The new blend. The triple the cast blend, triple cast. Which is American whiskey, bourbon, and the newly added cognac. Cognac. All right, and this is now five to seventeen years. We didn't add any water to it. Doesn't really need water. Mm. <laughs> Good. I was drinking. I just want to clear my palate as much as possible. You want to drink the new? <sighs> All right. So, guys, moving on. No, it's the triple cast. Wasn't the triple cast a higher proof? All right, so still 43. Let's get into it. the new XO. Color seems a little lighter than Which, the old one. Yes. So Which do could be to the, the, the younger rum. Young so young now this rum. is 5 to 17. 5 to 17 All right. compared so, to 7 to 15. Yeah, so definitely younger rums in there. Look at the legs forming. They're forming pretty slow. Some weird thin legs running on the bottom, but there's some tight beading on the top. So definitely you could see that this is two different rounds. Then some big drops formed and they fell pretty quickly. All right, so you're getting some, the legs are defined, pretty well defined legs, but I don't know, seems a little equally as well. There's some fast runs and some slow runs and some thick ones, so yeah. Pretty weird on the legs as well. But let's get into it. Let's get into the nose. First off, I can say this doesn't hit me mm. as this one. As fruity? Yeah, it doesn't. I'm, I'm still. I think it might be less hot. I don't because I had gotten a lot of heat on the first one. Definitely less hot for me. It's still fruity, but. It's not still as profound as yeah, yeah. It's still fruity. I, don't know, I never really got that much on the first one, but it's less hot. So, uh, let's get into the tasting notes. I like it. Good more feel. A little drying, getting some cognac flavor. Yes. Um. Definitely not a sweet fruitiness as you got from the previous one. The previous one had given me remind me of the four square two thousand nine. This one, mm, not so much. More cognac, warming on the chest. You know, warmth on the chest I didn't get before. Um, but nice, sweet, balance. That's the word. Yeah, it's balance. Balance. We more balance. The other one That's was the word. fruity. He yes. chewed that fruitiness. Yes, that's the that's the word. Balance. It's more balanced. Yeah, this one's way more balanced. You get some fruitiness, you get some cognac, you get some salty, briny notes. Um warming on the chest, drying a little bit on my cheeks, drying a little bit on my palate. This gives you a little of everything. Like this, I don't know if this is more quintessential Barbados or not. I don't know. But then, so you know, I was like, I wonder, like, what proof do they put these things in the barrel at? Because the, the, the amount of coloration that they get for, you know, a blend between 7 and 15, or 5 and 15, it's pretty dark. And I'm assuming non chill filtered and you no know, coloring, maybe coloring is added, I don't know. But definitely um, a well balanced rum. Get the cognac on there. The nose isn't impressive for me. The nose is impressive, but the flavor profile, yes, I like. Mm. Mm. Okay, very so balance, very balanced. Will you buy very balanced for sixty dollars? Why you have to put it that way? <laughs> Why? <laughs> No, it's yeah. like <laughs> I'm gonna put a little drop of water in there just to see you if it opens up and gives you anything else. No, because like that's 
that's really what the people are listening for, right? <laughs> like at the end of the day, we just go must buy, must try, must have, right? And so yeah, I already know that the old version, forty dollars. I'm buying it. All I must buy. Must. Right? And we were wrong to not buy a ton of it. Yes. You know what? Yeah, I, 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 you know, no, I feel like I should go hunting. Yeah. Rum hunting for. For me. But not for $60, though. Yeah, yeah. No, no for $40. And I have the older label from the same master blender. I don't know if they had changed the blender at any point in time within right. him, within his tenure there. But I definitely have the older label. Um, You know, and. Should have picked up some there before I before they got jacked up, you know. Uh, but you know you only have so much rum budget, and that's why you guys should donate to my cash app J J Wills J J W I L L S, so we could buy more rums. Again, we do this for you, right? Just five dollars a month could help us taste more rums to help you know more about these rums yes go in the link down below and donate to the cash app there's venmo down there there's paypal down there just send me a few bucks right buy me a drink all right really enjoy having you guys this one mm-hmm. Tri- triple so, we just ba- added a little bit of water to it yes mm-hmm. so ba- oh you t- okay no right. tell you talk tell me no, so based off based based off um how you you've tasted it so far mm. Are you willing to pay another 60 60 dollars plus tax for this bottle no no like i i i like it it's not a bad rum it's, it's not a, a bad rum, rum. It's, it's not a, a bad rum. rum it's a balanced rum it's a a good tasty rum like you get the salty you get the cognac vibes you got you know the the rum vibes it's a good rum it's a good rum it's a good rum but the price point. like you know price point that's the so if you had given me a 12 year of of if you just put the if you had made it a 12 year minimum eight statement 12 year 43 percent i would buy it right i would buy a 12 year minimum at 60 dollars okay but it's not you gave me a five to 17 and that and, I, and it goes back to my my my, my grief with monkey okay. in the first place right i'm not going to buy a unknown blend of five to 17 for 60 dollars i don't buy a lot of latin rums for the same reason right i just don't like not knowing what i'm getting right for the money it tastes good it's a good tasting rum right but like you know some people will say oh the age sometimes doesn't really define the quality the quality of the rum i agree that, that that let me just get an honest reviews right we're here for the honest reviews guys so exo i would prefer a minimum age statement right and that's just maybe i i've been spoiled by monkey no by sorry by four square by Angostura by Appleton yes it, you know but like when you ask for sixty dollars when you ask me for sixty dollars now honestly I maybe should have been easier on them at 40 right but now at sixty dollars yes we should have been easier on them we yeah we definitely should have, because honestly like I don't I feel like you know I, I've said time and time again when I just pop open a rum compared to when a rum sits for a while a lot of times the flavor develop for example the St. Lucia rum, the St. Lucia from Hamilton, the nine year. Yeah. I love it much more when you just pop the cork. When you just pop the cork, it's way more fruity and, 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 and different notes I get. As it gets longer, it, it reminds me more of a, of a Clarendon type note the longer it's open. Ah, you know? I love that rum. Yeah, but I love it. I, I honestly, like when you pop it open, like the, no, the, the smell, the nose, the flavor just hits you. The longer yeah. it opens, you don't like it as much. Most other rums, like 99% of the other rums I've opened, I like it more the longer it's open. And this could have been that. Like I opened it, I drank a little bit, didn't like it, it was kind of hot, kind of harsh, is what I could remember. And now it's just like, whoa, fruity and just. So maybe it's just it being open for a while longer. Okay. So at $40, it would have been a must buy. 
the, yes, definitely. The old right? right? The old bottle. So I just added a little drop of water to the new and it tasted a bit more woody and bourbony and stuff like that. I got more more of that traditional rum notes that you get on the nose, you get on the taste palette now compared to before I added the right. um, the, the water. It was get, definitely getting that, that salty cognac briny kind of thing. I had a few drops to the old version as well. But honestly, I don't know if the few drops is gonna help or hurt this one. Because it tasted so good that it might it might hurt. I don't know. Dude, oh it's just juicy pork. I was like, what going on? <laughs> no. Maybe I just pour a ton. Um but definitely forty dollars for a five to fifteen. You know, I honestly like like I know Mongi, like you know who does that? Ronda Berrito. That eight hundred dollars. It used to be like fifteen hundred. Now they sell for eight hundred dollars. The five star. The five star is a ten to thirty. Man, that's another video. I don't want to even start. <laughs> <laughs> right. So yeah, that one got a bit drier. Yeah, the water. So the water doesn't help. Doesn't help the um, the old version. Right, but like Ronda Berrito. It's another one of those companies that does a wide mix, but it's a Latin company, right? Yeah. So I kind of accept. But like, I don't. This is this is Montgay's tradition, right? Yeah. This is Montgay's tradition, which it is what it is. It's one of the oldest distilleries, if not the oldest distillery, at 1703, right? They have no other records. I think even um, Saint Nicholas Abbey wanted. They, he said there's a ton of records and stuff like that of this of their distillery being in existence for years, right? But they just started back up in like. In the 2000s but the distillery had been in existence for years because it's one of the old distilleries yes. way back when yes i've seen that um what's something huh? yeah so he said like yo there's information out there they have it archives they, they just don't have the time to go through it and they really don't want to like what's the point of saying you're the oldest distillery are they going to try to challenge Mongay? like he's not trying to challenge Mongay or get into that he just wants to create his rum his way right yeah. so Whatever, Mongay is the oldest distillery, and to me, it is like quintessentially what rum is, right? Taste of it today, kind of want to update my take because now I'm tasting like, yo, this thing tastes like a good, it tastes like a four square rum, this this old one, and the new one tastes really, really balanced, really good rum. Mm -hmm. Um, also, like, I've listened to interviews with Trudy and Baker, love like, like, how she speaks and stuff like that about the rum. Uh, I love the fact that that Mongi have blind tastings every morning. She says like at, I think like seven or eight o'clock in the morning they have like blind tastings. Yes, I've like read that some. I've read that. So I I like the background story and all that. But I was never a Mongi fan, unfortunately, because this at forty dollars, I think would have been a a, a must buy. I did, right? definitely. And the new one at sixty. I don't know, man. I, I don't. I, 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 it's definitely. I want to try. Like, I've tried it and I like it. I, I know I, I know. like it. It's a right? very good rum. I w personally, mm -hmm. based up tasting now, if I've never tasted it before, I would buy a bottle. Mm -hmm. But that's it. Yeah. Because it's sixty dollars. Yeah. And some places could be sixty-five. Correct. A lot of places sixty-five. Right. A lot of places sixty-five. So, so at sixty dollars, yeah, you're right. Like it's like I've purchase. bought. Yeah, I've bought. So as rum collectors as him and i are yes we sometimes buy rums that we have no <laughs> business buying right so like to me a lot of people buy it and you know every rum collector most rum collectors have a bottle of each one even if they're not a big um Mongay fan if they're just casual like yeah, yeah they drink Mongay, they buy a bottle right so for him and i typically we would buy a bottle right mm -hmm. but for him and i we really had a prejudice right against Mongi. a wrongful prejudice against Mongi because we apologize we apologize as i said moya my co-host used to work for Mongi, and you know i had opportunities probably to get more Mongi, but i was never i never like you know one i never like pester people like yo i need a bottle i need a bottle whatever so i'm pretty sure she gave me this bottle because it's a 700 milliliter bottle and they don't sell that in the US. I know she gave me that. I probably bought one before, drank it with friends with Chaser and stuff like that. It's a 700. Mm. 
So yeah. if I was a 700, I'm pretty sure Moya gave me that bottle, right? But I, I know I've bought bottles before. I bought at least one other bottle before. And I said, I used to get it on sale for like 30 bucks, 35 bucks in the XO, right? Yeah. So I definitely have picked up a bottle before, but all right, we got this at $40, definitely was a must buy. We miss out, if you could find it, get it. Get it. Alan Smith really was a good um, master distiller. And True the End is also a very good master distiller. Um, you know, it was good. Can't yeah. complain. You can't complain. Can't complain. I'm taking this one though. No, 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 no. <laughs> now I have a newfound appreciation <laughs> for Monk Gay that needs to stay with me. Um, definitely gonna be drunk. You know, on those nights I just wanna sit in my backyard. I just, you know, watch the breeze blow. As I always tell my wife and my mom, like, yo, sometimes I just wanna watch the breeze blow. And this rum. It would be a good vibe for that. All right, guys. So, newfound respect for Monkey. Newfound yes. respect for Monkey. Yes, guys. definitely. Monkey video. Sorry for all the rambling, but we definitely want to express how we feel about this rum and let you know. Honest reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, follow us on Instagram. Rum Shan on Instagram. Ready Set Rum on Instagram. Subscribe. Donate. Cheers. Cheers.